CEU in this game, we've already talked enough about their struggles nung simula. Pero ito si Tyro Chan ang nagbigay ng buhay sa kanila, a new, a new lease on life. And everything followed para sa kanila, Charles. Yeah, he's been solid for them. Even in this half already, uh, he's got the free throws, hit a jumper. And that's been the biggest, he's been the best player for CU. 17 points already for him. Pero ito, the other guys, Fuentes stepping up with a three and an assist. And all of a sudden, they're, they're, they're getting going on offense. Even with that bucket mula kay Eli, labing tatlo pa rin, ang lama. And Chan still aggressive. Getting fouled. I thought he was going to lob it up to Dio. Dio was saying the same thing. Hey, drop pass. I would have stuffed it in his face, but he gets to the free throw line and draws the fourth foul anyways on uh, Eli. Mahirap din kasi kay Eli. Wala siya gaano katulong underneath. May mga big men in Pegaso, in Lalata, in Jeronimo, but siya at siya ang kailangan mga dumipensa kapag ganyan makaka-atake yung mga players ng CEU like Chan. He just has to be very careful. Can't pick up his fifth foul. They need him in this game. They're down by 15 right now. And despite him having four fouls, he did not the best because makes a video. Has to be an eight-second violation there. That's a good call from our referees. And even better defense played by Christian Uri. And I like what CU is doing. They're not letting Almaheda be the one to bring down the ball. They're denying him letting a guy like Castro, whose handles aren't as good. Kasi dos talaga yan. Let him bring down the ball and putting pressure on him. And he struggled. Oh, nice pass. And there it is. Pio. It's too easy for him. It's too easy. Good pass also by Caballero sa inbound. At yung kaninang galit, kunot ng noo ni Dio, napalitan na niyang ngiting yan. And that's because he had a huge, huge dunk earlier. Ngayon naman, pakiramdam niya, inaisahan niya. And look at Chan again. Drawing the foul on Jeronimo, who did not box him out. So Chan will go to the free throw line and maybe get his 20th plus points because he already has 19. So for me now, for Dio, you have three fouls. Be smart. It's a must not to pick up a foul. And maybe the two, three more minutes that you'll play in this quarter, just give Manong Derek some time to, to leave you in the game. And if you're up by this much ending the fourth, I think you should learn from your mistakes. But if you're Olivares, you're not in rhythm at all. Malaking execute you gotta settle down and, and execute a bit better on offense. Charles, as impressive as a 21.6 rebound stat line is, parang hindi pa nga rin nung capture fully ko ano yung impact oh. na nagawa ni Chan dito sa ating laro. Almaheda just throwing that ball away again, thus committing the foul. He's had a poor, poor quarter. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Bashir Computers. Service is our business. Penalty na ang magkabilang koponan and that's why dun sa loose ball foul ni Almaheda. Diop heads the free throw line. Kanina nagmintes, now makes up for that. Ang, ang haba kasi ni Diop eh. Hindi pwede lazy pass sa big man mo. Kala mo nakasil na yung big man mo nakapwesto. But if Diop reaches over the top of him and stretches his arms, uh, it, it's really long so it's very hard as... Ooh, Fuentes almost stealing that rebound out of nowhere. But you have to be careful with your pass. Don't throw lob pass against Diop. Bounce pass. 20-point lead already para sa CEU. It's the largest of this game. They were down by 10 earlier in the first period. Pero grabe nga kasi yung bounce back. And again, we can't stress this enough. It was led by the brilliance of Tyrone Chan. Sa gigit, bibitaw mula sa labas. And finally, a good shot for them after well-executed play. Nice pass again by Caballero. That was a hard foul binigay ni Sagigit. Referee saw that the intention really was just to stop what would have been an easy day of the Uri. Kaya regular foul lang naman. Christian Uri po sa free throw line. And Caballero has done such a good job facilitating as the point guard. So for Olivares, after just six turnovers in the entire first half, they already have four in the first five minutes of this quarter. That's not, that's not a good way to start the half. And also, Charles, when it comes to the free throws, netong Oliva uh, ng CEU, these are attempts number 12 and 13 in the quarter alone with 4 and 50 remaining. As a total, 26th and 27th free throws of the game para sa Scorpions. Yeah, you have to strike a balance between how physical you want to play. You can push the limits, but see how the referees are calling it. 
if not, kayo na dapat mag-adjust. Nice move by Lalata. Ooh, still can't get it to drop. He's just had an off game. Those are the shots na usually pumapasok para sa kanya. Yan yung mga tira na nagpasakit ng ulo oh. ng CEU when they first met. Pero tulad oh. niya na sabi mo, ayaw. May headbutt pa si Lalata dun. <laughs> Abalero, with 7 seconds sa shot clock ng CEU. That's a foul. Pinugulo ni Almaheda and... Joshua should have seen that coming. Easy call to make. He had his arms extended. The view of asking the rest. That's what I saw. I saw there was a headbutt by Lalata on him on the post. Possible headbutt. Not even solid, pero mga ganon niyo magets but nila ginagawa ano? Na masakit pa. Almaheda has been the most impressive player dito sa sa Olivares in this game. He commits his fourth foul and he obviously has to sit down. Sayang kasi siya nga. He has 12 points and five assists. So he's contributed for more than 50% of what Olivares has scored in this game. And big lang nagka dry spell sila, no? So they've scored what? They scored 15 points in the first five minutes since then. 23 na lang in the next 20 minutes plus of action. It has been a crazy run. Mula sa panic ng Olivares. And ng CEU rather. Crazy drought on the side of the Sea Lions. Nalata bigay kay Castro. Paolo. Oh, oh set idea. back by the off. And he wags that finger. Says, nope, not today. And then he taps him at the back. <laughs> Good try. So, so nice to have a big guy like you of protecting the paint. Ooh. Fuentes slipped opening the lane, pero hindi pa rin makapasok ng tira ang Olivares. Aliyup, no. Fuentes takes it strong. No, Lalata the rebound. Olivares, tumatakbo na naman. Castro bumps in. Couldn't get anything. Tapi ka ng bola, labas kay Sagigit. Sagigit finally makes a field goal para sa Sea Lions. The of telling Caballero, settle down lang tayo. Lapang naman tayo ng 21. But I thought Fuentes had a lob to the of. Didn't want to pass him the ball. Sayang. Could've been another crazy throwdown. Ito pumunta sila kay Dio. You can see how he made that pass to over the head of Lalata. Try to pick up on the dribble dahil ang laki niya. He can escape. Lalata with that jumper. Well, that's a much better attempt for him. Kasi yung mga mas madadaling layup, ayaw ma-shoot eh. Oh. Siguro na ilang talaga siya nung nandung si Diof. Watch out doon sa mga banggaan ni Lalata at Diof sa ilalim. Yeah, kasi three falls na siya. He can't afford to pick up his fourth. Fuentes shoots over Sagigit with that's this. A, that's a poor shot. When you're up by 19, that's not a shot you need to take. Sala at Castro yung nagahati sa backward duties ngayon para sa Olivares with Almaheda nursing four fouls. Jeronimo, munti ka na mawala bola. He recovers. Castro, not much spacing there. Nag-reset ng atake ang Sea Lions. Dwight Sagigit goes to the cup. Pintes. Diop saves it. Mukhang si Chan is cramping up. Uri finishes the fast break on the other end. Hopefully that's just a cramp and not, uh, not anything worse. Two hood or, or hamstring or what. And they're gonna let Lalata duck this. They just watched. And it's not a good sign. And hopefully cramps lang yan. Di, di ko alam eh kasi above the calf siya nakahawak. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Medyo mas nakakatakot yun. And he was trying to hold on to his stance. Pero bumagsak na talaga eh. Ang good sign naman, if if it really is, hindi siya yung shock of pain. Hindi natin nakita yun sa buo ni Chan. Dahan dahan yung naramdaman yung pain until he had to let go and fall down to the floor. With that dunk mula kay Lalata, bumaba yung kalamangan ng CU, but it's still a sturdy 21 points. A timeout is called on the floor. This one is brought to you by Cherry's Grill.